by the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh, you might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. Maybe I killed the voice in your head, boss. Tell me, the voice in your head, why are you down here? You can trust me, boss. Think carefully. Who are you here for, and why? You lost, boss. I'll show you the cards I've been dealt. But you put yours on the table first. You may be on to something, boss. Or maybe you're still talking to yourself. Insanity isn't given enough credit. The insane know not what they do. Do you? I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? <laughs> I don't know, boss. You tell me. After all, I didn't crash your party. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the Prince. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. I like to discuss business face to face. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> Behind you, boss. Oh! What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. A little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than Mae West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shemisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but... I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. 
sometimes known as the Vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. Gee, that's original. You think that up all by yourself? You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown. I'll give you what you need. Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kui Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Forget it, boss. It's Chinatown. Let's see what I got. Use your head and your eyes. Chinatown's more liable to offer you than ten Hollywoods, but not if you're smart. Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Let's see what I got. Use your head. Uh of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> There is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. Miss me, boss? <laughs> <laughs> 